Welcome to our new video. In this video we are going to talk about Infinix Not 12 Turbo G96. So without wasting any time let's get started. The main things we will discuss the plan we truly do have three unique tones for the Infinix Note 12 grams 96. So that is that presently as far as the slimness it's truly a genuinely thin gadget coming in at simply 7.88 mm so likewise exceptional. Lightweight so you don't need to stress over your telephone being too weighty and all that now assuming that you investigate the actual edge we have level sides that goes all over and this certainly causes the telephone look and even to feel. More premium than the cost is requesting okay so dropping down to the base we really do see that we really do have that type C part you have double sound system speakers here folks and it sounds very great separated from that you likewise still have. Your earphone jack yet some way or another I know it's not exactly adjusted to the actual casing so I'm not excessively certain about that yet basically you actually have the earphone jack now on the right you in all actuality do have your volume. Rocker along with that a finger impression scanner a lock button and on the left you truly do have a sim card plate that truly upholds miniature SD. Presently continuing on toward the back there's entirely a fascinating component here and that is regarding the cameras at the back now on the off chance that you investigate this you could feel that we truly have a triple camera arrangement here. And you probably won't be off base we truly do have two genuine cameras here a 50 megapixel principal sensor a 2 megapixel dev sensor and the third one is truly for show purposes so truly you just get two sensors folks don't be tricked. By this a third eye at the base okay so having said that general plan wise I believe it's fine I mean at the cost point certainly a very intriguing very moderate level side surrounding it looks the work okay so we should continue on and talk a tad. About the following thing and that is as far as the front, we truly do have that 6.7 inch 1080p mold show now at the cost of just shy of 800 ringgit having an mold show here is most certainly great tragically it just comes in at 60 hertz revive rate. I would have trusted it accompanied no less than 90 hertz except for basically the mold show here is entirely okay as far as your difference levels and immersion levels. You can't actually contrast this mold board with additional costly ones it finishes the work very well however as far as splendor levels it doesn't get extremely high as far as the survey points it's. Likewise not the most ideal out there now the uplifting news here is that it's perfect for observing a wide range of recordings. So that is simply as far as the showcase. Presently as far as the processor yes I referenced before on it accompanied the Helio G96 now this processor is entirely obsolete by the present principles however as far as execution it actually performs in basically the same manner to something like the Snapdragon 680 so you maybe know about that processor we are seeing a ton of those financial plan telephones today utilizing the Snapdragon 680 yet we truly do have. The Helio G96 here as far as gaming I saw that I had the option to play Portable Legends PUBG and, surprisingly, Free Fire uh, easily absent a lot of slacks or postpones on medium design settings so I will not actually grumble about the gaming. Execution here since it can deal with games currently as far as everyday client it's additionally very smooth in sending off your applications there's no similar to slacks or falters and serious sort of lagginess in the actual telephone. Everything is quite smooth here on the Infinix Note 12 grams 96. Presently continuing on we should discuss that cameras at the back like I referenced before on you have a 50 megapixel primary sensor you have a 2 megapixel dev sensor and that third sensor for show purposes good so as far as the photos I was entirely enjoyably shocked now allowed me to make sense of our daytime shots looks very okay it's only respectable for the again at this cost range you have adequate subtleties. You have a lot of dynamic reach and obviously as far as the varieties it's not to say very immersed it's entirely conditioned back to look very regular so I feel that is very okay with regards to daytime shots anyway when it came to evening time. Shots this is where I got very shocked on the grounds that the actual telephone had the option to light up an extremely dull scene not just that it was really ready to light up the picture by a considerable amount. So terms of the camera as far as daytime shots you get fair pictures and as far as evening shots you get extremely splendid night pictures so I feel that is extraordinary okay so to wrap things up we should talk a tad about the battery as well as the charging speeds now. For your battery you truly do get a 5000 mAh battery in here which I believe is very great considering the gadget is very thin as far as the charging speeds you get a 33 watt quick charge charger in the crate yet it truly requires over an hour to charge from 0 to 100% so it's not exactly really quick or any such thing it's only quicker than your normal 5 to 10 watt charger from last age. If you liked the video. So give the big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching see you in the next video.